this patience and paralysis is at my mom's house. I already dropped her off this 716. I'm actually making really good time today. I actually was aiming to actually be at work early because um, we have a huge surgery this morning. It's like uh, from eight to damn near two o'clock, y'all. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this surgery gonna be so long. So I'm uh, um, once I get to work, I'm show y'all like the setup and then i'm not gonna be able to vlog a whole lot through that process of course because i'm gonna be in a room for like six hours so what i'm gonna do is just show y'all like how everything looks after the surgery and like once we're done and all that stuff um it's actually 7 17 now and i'm actually in chicago now because usually y'all i'm always late so around 7 15 i'm still in the birds like i'm not even close to chicago yet so actually out here traffic is uh traffic because everybody who knows when you drive to the city is traffic every single day but luckily i came a little early so it's not as bad as it normally would be um i'm hoping that i'm probably gonna get to work maybe 7 40 i don't think i'm gonna be there at 7 30 i could be wrong but i'm hoping that i'll be there at least like 7 30 so then i have some time to set up and all that good stuff because i know nobody set up for that because they don't know what the hell that surgery is so I'm gonna get there early. I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna show y'all everything, and then we're gonna go ahead and jump into the day. But today is another 12-hour shift because I only work 12-hour shifts. I work two days a week. Sometimes I switch out and work every other Saturday. But other than that, y'all, I'm blessed enough to just work two days a week. I am so happy about that. So I will take that 12-hour shift with grace. Okay. So I will touch base with y'all when I get back to work. How do you know the way I feel? You got me losing my mind. Oh. <laughs> Try to suppress my emotions. They're bursting like fountains. Baby. They take me up, they take me down. I'm getting weak at my knees. Oh. You got the socks. Hey you guys, so I just can't got at I just got came. Wow. I just came to work. I just got to work and it's 741. I can't even think straight. 741, but I just pulled up and my doctor is here already. So he must be like trying to go over the game plan and everything before the patient comes in. Cause when I tell you he is never here this early. Ever. He usually comes like at eight or maybe eight. Um, I mean, I ate. Damn, is this eyelash really not gonna stick? I'm using the other, um, I'm using a, a different eyelash method than what I used the other day because I had time to just let the glue sit on my eyelashes as I was driving over here. So, um, yeah, but damn, he's here already. So, I'm gonna go up in there and talk to him about this surgery, see how he wants to go about it, which I'm actually glad that he is here because it's always good to talk to your doctors about their schedule if there is anything that you don't know or whatever because sometimes i mean it'll sometimes they'll have what you're supposed to do on there but then when you talk to the doctor it's like a completely different a completely different thing so um so i'm about to go up in here real quick and talk to the doctor and see what's going on see what's going on and yeah take y'all with me so I will see y'all when I punch in. <laughs>
guys is at her aunt's house um it is about 209 i'm kind of just giving y'all little clips of work in this video because um i just been getting back-to-back -back surgeries and sometimes and in this field you're just moving so fast you be trying to grab something to eat you be trying to hurry up and set up for the next patient so the first clip is just like a huge procedure i had um it was like an extractions and a lot of implants that was done on the first day and that procedure was like excuse me sorry you guys i'm eating lunch real quick but that procedure was like uh four or five hours long and so after that y'all doc was pretty much done for the day and so when he was done i was like i might as well leave early too so i pretty much left after that but now today i'm back at work and i didn't have three surgeries so you're gonna see me like pretty much just setting it up taking it down setting it up taking it down taking it, doing the same thing over and over again and excuse my skin because i got a lot of dark spots I already had a lot of dark spots but um every time i'm breaking out and i have like acne i get a lot of dark spots because i'm bad with picking my face and so i'm bleaching right now and anybody who's ever used like bleaching cream to get rid of dark spots because i'm dead don't get it confused i'm not trying to get lighter i'm just trying to get rid of these dark spots um everybody knows that you get darker before you get lighter before you go through like that peeling stage it's almost like when you get like a chemical peel but you only doing it in certain spots so my face is looking a little rough right now but um it's 2 11 i'm gonna go back into work uh we got another surgery but i'm not gonna be doing this one because i had stayed i worked a little past my lunch that i was supposed to go so that I could um, eat. So now I'm eating now. And then the other sister, she finna do that one real quick. Shauna finna handle that one. And then um, when I get off my lunch, I'm gonna do a post-op check. And then um, and the post-op check is from when we placed um, implants on this one guy. So we're gonna check it out, remove any extra sutures, and then make sure he's healing okay. And then after that, I got a crown. So then I'm gonna do the crown. And after that, doc is done, but excuse me i'm scheduled till eight today so i'm probably gonna stay up until um probably seven i told the ladies i'm gonna leave at seven because i need to go to pete's because i have a couple more things i have to grab at the grocery store and i'll rather get it done because gee it is so cold it's 19 degrees right now and the lady gets colder it's finished it's gonna be so i'm gonna hurry up and do that and then when i go back into work i'll take y'all with me and then we'll do that but i thank you guys so much for the people who's been subscribing uh, i'm super excited that makes me so happy and i thank y'all that you know that's really taking time to comment and like my videos like i didn't think y'all was really gonna like my videos like this but thank you just know it's definitely appreciated and um i'm definitely gonna keep doing more videos like this and then in a while i'm gonna also do like a uh like a um not a q a but once I do the video, if y'all have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and then let me know if y'all want me to do another video based off y'all questions. But I'm just gonna go through like what it's like being a dental assistant, schooling, what I went through, um, tips on being a great assistant, what to look forward to if you're looking into jumping into the field or if you're in school, like whatever the case. So if y'all like that type of stuff, let me know. But And if y'all wanna ask me some questions right now before I um, post the actual video, drop it in the comment section below that way i make sure i cover everything when i do the video but thank you guys for watching and thank you for subscribing but i'm gonna meet y'all back inside after i finish eating
This is a setup for a crown procedure. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm trying to move kind of fast because everybody is moving. This is the tray. Always make sure you have that shade down. Boom. Boom. Make sure before y'all start a procedure, y'all always check the water because it is way too low. You don't want to start it and then Doc has to stop and ask you to go fill up the water. Okay? You don't want to do that. Better. Water is up here, and then you flip it back on. Back down right there. Alright. 